good life. But, but the thing about Joseph was he was very gifted, very talented. Uh, the Bible just says he was a good-looking guy, so he, he just sort of made his way. He angered his doggone brothers. And the thing that Joseph lacked when he was, when he was in his late teens and early, early years, he lacked wisdom and humility. And it, it took him 20 years after his brother sold him uh, into slavery. It took him 20 years to find his place and how he should not only use his talents and his gifts, but learn those two characteristics of integrity and humility. Um, his greatest achievement was his forgiving spirit as he set right the relationships with his brothers <coughs> and sold him into slavery. And then he understood exactly how God uses people in various works, sometimes even when we lack a spiritual understanding of why we are where we are at the time. Uh, Joseph used his talents and his skills in being an administrator, in being a a large governor in the, in the nation of Israel. But even with all of that power, the greatest power he exerted was his ability to forgive his brothers for the wrong thing that they had done to him. We'll leave in prayer. God, we're grateful for every blessing that you give us. The great country that we live in, with so many freedoms, so much responsibility to guide and direct this group as they work for the state and for the people of this state. Let them have wisdom and integrity in all that they do. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend. <coughs> Okay, everybody, this is the Georgia Public Service Commission administrative session for Tuesday, June 18th, 2013. We will start with the consent agenda. Mr. Chairman, may I have a form of personal privilege? Absolutely. Would every member of the staff of the Georgia Public Service Commission stand up, please? If you're a staff member of the Georgia Public Service Commission, stand up. Yesterday, we had 14 people here from New York, Boston, all across the country with city groups. And they talked to all the commissioners, and they talked about our, who we are, what we are, philosophy, this public service commission, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So after about 40, 45 minutes that, that I spent with them, and I'm sure my colleagues did the same over uh, that period of time, I said, well, you know, you know how I am sometimes. I said, y'all sitting here grading us on what we do. And I said, well, what kind of grade do we get? And uh, that was a little, I said, do we get an F or C or B minus? Or where are we? And after a, a, just a very brief pause, one of the individuals, a nice lady there says, I'll tell you what we think. We think the Georgia Public Service Commission ranks in the top five in this nation as far as Public Service Commission. That's a compliment to the people of this, this commission, the staff of this commission. And I just want y'all to know that. And I think it was a guy. It made me appreciate you folks for what you do uh, for this state. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Commissioner McDonald, for great words. And, and you, you reminded me that we need to give specific uh, thanks for having one of our own back from serving our country honorably overseas. <laughs> I'll give Bill Edge a hand. For... <laughs> great to have you back, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we, we're, we have the proposed consent agenda. Does any commissioner like would like to have an item placed on hold or move to the regular agenda? Hearing no such.